Hey, how you all doing? Welcome to this video lead tutorial. In this video lead tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put yourself onto a green screen. You're going to need a green screen in order to do it though, right? But I'm just going to show you how to set up the settings in your um, Enlight Video Leap app using either iPhone or iPad. Let's get it done. Okay, so let's just pause that video there. So contrary to what I just said there, I'm actually going to show you some mistakes. I've tried to make as many green screen mistakes as I can um, in this upcoming video that you can see on your screen now. And I'm just going to talk you through a few of those mistakes to help you iron out um, any green screen problems you might have on Nlight when you're trying to green screen yourself. It's actually not just for Nlight, it's for any sort of green screening that you do. You might find these um, problems, but what it will also show you how to do is to green screen yourself within Nlight. So first and foremost, let me just show you this video here, right? It looks like I'm all dressed in black. And the reason you see this, um, these little um, interrupted outlines, this little noise on my shoulders is because that I'm actually wearing a green fleece. So top tip number one, if you're green screening, don't wear green. Okay, now let's move along to the actual green screen and the, the green screen behind me. And I've tried to make a few issue or a few mistakes here with what I'm doing on the green screen just to um, just to highlight them out for you. So you see that I'm waving my hands around, I'm moving my hand over to my right hand side and that's because that's where my light is. So I'm single light in this green screen, the light's not even, so that's mistake number two. So always try and get your light even. So then we're going for number three. Look at all these creases which cause dark parts on my um, on my screen behind me or my green um, canvas behind me. This ideally needs to be nice and flat and tight and that will prevent any problems. And here you can actually see that I have actually got a green top on and it's not a black top, it's actually a green top, okay? Um, so try and get rid of these bits in the corners here, try and make it nice and tight and then you see the light, the single light behind my head so it's my face is overexposed so that's not a good place to be either, that's going to cause you some dramas. That being said, let me show you what I can do with Enlight in order to get myself um, onto a green screen. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to split this clip here. So I'm going to select the clip and then click split. And then um, I'm going to just put this clip, just trim it down a little bit so it goes from one to the other. Okay, so we go from one clip to the other. Right, right, really simple, really simple. So then what I'm going to need to do, I'm going to need to put a clip below my green screen in order to have that in the background. Now this can be a video, it can be an image. I'm probably just going to use a video just to demonstrate that you can actually use a video. An image would be the same as well, okay? So, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to select my clip and I'm going to click Mixer here in the, um, in the bottom Right, I think I spoke about Mixer in my last green screen um, tutorial that you had a video behind you, uh, but this time it's an actual green screen behind yourself, okay? So I click Mixer to allow me to have the green screen um, above the primary timeline. So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to insert another clip, so I'll click the little plus button here. Just coincidentally, if you want to get this back down into the timeline, you can see this little button here that says clip with an arrow downwards, it will just drop that clip back into the main primary timeline. Um, so I'll click Mixer again, click the little plus button, and then that takes me to my stock images. So just for ease of use, because this is, um, I want a longer, a longer clip, right? So I'm just gonna use this one here on the right hand side. Just wait for that to download. So now I've got this clip here below it, but you can't see it because my green screen clip is above that primary, okay? So 
Um, I'm going to select that primary, that, or sorry, the, the green screen clip. And then I want to select Chroma from, you see this option pop up below, select Chroma, and then it's going to ask me to choose a color. So I'm going to grab this little circle in the center, and I'm going to drag it over to the green screen. So that's the color that it's going to Chroma, okay? So here I'm going to drag it over to a nice part of the green screen. So now what I want to do, I'm going to mess around with the, I'll get this little pop up, the intensity and the shadows. So the intensity, you see what it does, it's just going to increase the intensity of the chroma. So I want to sort of get it to this position here. Before I do that, because there's lots of dark patches. So I remember when I spoke about those, um, I spoke about those creases within the green screen and then being in the bottom right hand corner so you can see here in the bottom right and the bottom left because um i've got those creases the shadows within those creases it's not light and um, you're going to see these black parts so i'm gonna have to drag the shadows down in order to try and remove them like so i've removed the shadows completely and then i can go back to the intensity and reduce the intensity so i come back on the screen but now what's causing me problems is the light behind me a single focus light so the green screen is not evenly lit so this is going to cause me dramas as well okay so you can see here that although yes it is working it's not perfect because of the issues that I spoke about before I could try and um, adjust that intensity a little bit more and really fine tune it but I think because of those issues that I spoke about before we're not going to be able to do too much the shadows are completely down you know if I brought if I raise the shadows at all then I'm just gonna have these dark pieces where I've got shadows on my green screen so this is where I go from here to here so this is now the green screen. This can be an image if you want and it can play it through. What you will notice as well is that I've got these green aura around my fingers and that's just the light being in that single focus point. If you get all of these things right in the first instance, if you get your canvas nice and tight, the green screen canvas behind you, if you get the light even, don't wear green, don't have any dark shadows on it, you're not gonna have any of these issues. But you know, I think with real fine tuning, adding filters, maybe I might be able to get rid of some of these issues, but we're not talking about adding filters. You can see that's quite clean now, just a quite clean pick cut picture. Um, would I use it? Probably not. I would tidy all of the things up that I spoke about before. But that's simply how you get yourself onto a green screen and some really simple top tips for you to try and avoid when you've got a screen behind you. I hope this has helped you out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you want me to do a video, I know I'm quite aware I've rushed quite quickly through this, but there's not really that much to do that I didn't do on the last green screen, so I just don't want to repeat videos for you. Um, but yeah, that's um, common mistakes that you can make when setting up your green screen and, um, and how to um, green screen yourself within Enlight. Take care, everybody. I'll catch you all soon.